Hi guys, thanks for coming back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and use Ubic uh, wallet on your Legend Nano S uh, with Pyrus. Unfortunately, at the moment, we cannot uh, uh, access our Ubic wallet through the Ledger wallet Ethereum. Hopefully, the team will soon make it available, but in the meantime, we're gonna use Pyrus to access our wallet, but through Legend Nano S. And then I'm gonna also transfer all my Ubic from my current wallet to my uh, new Ubic wallet on my Ledger Nano S. So first thing we need to install the wallet, we're gonna go to the Ledger Manager, down to the Ubic wallet, and we're gonna click Install. Once the installation is done, we're gonna access the Ubic wallet on the actual device, because we need to do uh, a few things. So once the installation is done, you go to your Ubic wallet on the device, you enter the Ubic wallet and you then go to settings. You then enter settings and you need to allow, you need to click yes on browser support. So you enter browser support, on default comes with no, so you need to allow it to yes. Now if um, Ledger Nano S makes uh, Ubic available through the uh, Ethereum uh, wallet, you then gonna have to put the browser support to no, but because we're gonna use the browsers, because we're gonna use the Pyrus, we need the browser support. So once you click on yes, you then go back and you stay inside your wallet. Once inside the wallet, I'm gonna now open Pyrus. I'm gonna go through the web and here it is. So what I'm gonna do is click on send Ubic tokens because we already have wallet. We're not gonna be creating new wallet. We need to obviously enter our existing wallet which is on our Ubic, uh, which is on our Ledger Nano S device. So we click send Ubic tokens, we're gonna select Legend wallet and then all you do is, you must be in your Ledger uh, Nano S inside your Ubic wallet. From here you click connect to the Ledger wallet. And as you can see, I've already tried it, it works. I have 10 Ubic uh, at the moment inside my wallet, so I'm gonna select the same wallet. And as you can see, there's five wallets in, uh, you know, by default on your Ledger Nano S. So I'm gonna select the one I've been using, unlock your wallet. And as you can see guys, now I'm inside my uh, Ledger Nano S Ubic wallet via the help with Pyrus. So now I'm gonna send all my Ubic from my uh, Fusion wallet straight to my um, new wallet. And now I feel much safer simply because now I have my Ubic wallet on my Ledger Nano S. So I'm gonna select my account address. I'm then gonna go to my uh, wallet. And as you can see, I have currently 1,529 Ubic uh, inside. I have done two transactions early on today. Uh, I chose the cheapest um, fee, and as you can see, they still haven't gone through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send them via the most expensive one because uh, this is the one I used, uh, the latest transaction to send the 10 Ubic with the um, highest fee, which is not that bad. Ubic is not that expensive and they did arrive into my uh, Legend Nano S Ubic wallet. So let's go to send and we're gonna send everything. I'm then gonna put the address. Make sure you confirm your address, guys. You don't want to put the wrong address. Normally what I, I would do is I'll check the first um, digit and uh, you know, zero X and then I'm gonna check the last one to make sure it's uh, the same. I'll make sure it is correct because obviously I'm sending quite a bit and then I'm just gonna send them. Now you, you need to go down and select which uh, fee you wanna go for. As I said, if you go for the cheaper uh, one, it takes a uh, long time. So I'm gonna go just for the fastest one. It's not that expensive, Ubic is not expensive, so therefore I want obviously for the transaction to go as quick as possible. So I'm sending all my Ubic. Unfortunately, it's not gonna appear immediately, therefore I'm gonna end the video once I've sent them over, but I'm sh showing you how confident I am that everything is working and I'm gonna send everything over to my uh, new Legend Nano S Ubic wallet. So send, I need now to put my password. Let me just uh, check it, make sure I've put the correct one. Too many passwords these days. So, once I put my password, I'm gonna send transactions and now let me show you the transaction. 
as you can see the transaction is right here now obviously I'm waiting for confirmations it's gonna take a, a, a bit for the Ubic to be sent over but that's how it's done and um, you know hopefully within the next few minutes you know up to a half an hour whatever all this uh, Ubic will appear into my new Ubic uh, Legend Nano S wallet if you have any questions guys feel free to ask me so of course if you're not using using fusion if you're sending sending them from somewhere else you do the exact same thing the most important thing here is to know how to access your wallet how to obviously uh, use the legend on os and pyrus as you saw it and uh, yeah that's it that's how easy it is and um, now when i need to obviously uh, have access of my um, ubic all I need to have is my Legend on OS and I can use the Pyrus uh, anywhere and just, you know, have my device with me and I can access my Ubic. And the good thing is now I feel much safer because they are actually on my hardware wallet and not anymore on a desktop wallet. That is great uh, from uh, the team of uh, Ledger. Uh, well done to, you know, for them to include that. And um, we can take obviously this opportunity to send our Ubic to our Legend Nano S if you're using one. Now, if you wanna uh, go check out the Legend Nano S, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can uh, you know, check out if you haven't purchased one already and feel free to do so. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was clear to you. As I showed you, all you do is you install the wallet in your Legend Manager. Once you install it, you go inside the wallet. And in fact, let me show you real quickly. So if I close this now, and I go now to my Ubic wallet on my device and I go to settings and I go back to browser support and select no. Now when I open the Pyrus and when I try to connect my ledger, it's not gonna work. So as you can see, it's not working. Now I go back, I select yes to the browser support and as you can see, the, the wallet appears immediately. And as you can see, actually the transaction has appeared immediately as well. So there you have it now, guys. All my Ubic is inside my Legend Nano S wallet. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're enjoying the channel, feel free to subscribe and share. And once again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I will be more than happy to help you and answer any of your questions. Bye-bye for now.